10 years old, she made her film debut as Harry Potter's fellow wizard in training in the blockbuster hit Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Here's the lovely young Emma Watson. Oh, Emma, don't worry about it. You look great. Regis and she's Kelly and welcome to our show. Jump up here, Emma, let's talk. This is Emma's first time in New York, first time in America. And what are your thoughts, Emma? I love it. Do it's, you? It's amazing. A little uh, lively for you? <laughs> it's kind of like London intensified. Sure, oh yeah, London yeah, sure. intensified. A very yeah. good answer. Where do you live in, in England? Um, I live in Oxfordshire. And what is that like? It sounds um, pastoral, you know, and cattle grazing. and. <laughs> it's not quite that. It's kind of... Um, it's, it's got loads of colleges, so I don't know whether you've heard of Oxford, that's like a major uh -huh. college, and it's like loads of schools, and it's, it's quite big, but it's not quite as busy as London. And you go to school in your neighborhood? Yeah. Yeah, good. Mm -hmm. And you, you have a little brother? I do. And what's he like? Um, he's nice. <laughs> do, you get, do you get along with him? Yes. No he's, fighting or anything. Is like. he an actor as well? No, but he's very, very interested in that. He's he very is. interested in that. Especially now is. with your new newfound stardom. Sure, <laughs> sure. He wants to be you. And what do your parents do? My parents, they're both lawyers. Both lawyers. Good. Mm -hmm. Now, is this the very first time you've acted, or how did this film come to you? Um, basically, my school um, got the audition. Basically. No kidding. Yeah, um, which is really surprising. It's really strange way to get into it you know yeah. we like have an agent and stuff like that but i didn't so um and i it was done in my school gym and what was the audition like well it was exactly like a drama lesson really it didn't mm -hmm. really feel as though they were auditioning us i think there were about 16 of us all together so it uh -huh. kind of wasn't focused on me or anyone else yeah um had you been a fan of Harry Potter books before they came? Yeah, I was in the middle of the third one when I started even, like, auditioning. So I was a major Harry Potter fan. And did you feel that you um, sounded like the character, that you embodied the character? Did you picture yourself as the character when you were reading the book? Now that I've made the film, when I read the book, I see myself as Hermione. But before, I never... It wasn't even in my wildest dreams. Mm. So what happened when you learned you got the part? That must have been the thrill of your life, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was... I, I couldn't believe it. And what did the other kids say at school? Why you? <laughs> Why you, Emma Watson? <laughs> because I'm worth it. <laughs> <laughs> so... I guess she told you. <laughs> yeah. This is a major movie, your first time on a movie set. I mean, what was it like? What was it? Did you have fun making the film, or was it a lot of work? Um, it's not as glamorous as everyone sees it. Yes, absolutely. Um, it's, it's really different. It's, there's so many people involved. It's yes. It's just, and everything's so big and... Did you remember all your lines or did you muff them once in a while? Everyone muffs them once in a while. Yeah. Um, but... I mean, they did it in such small chunks that it wasn't... You didn't really have to remember that much. Mm -hmm. It was just... She does things. an amazing job in this film. Yeah. My son has quite a crush. Oh, really? Yes, his first crush. You'd on... love him. He's three years old. <laughs> That's cute. You can't beat a good younger man, you know. <laughs> Let's take a break. We'll come back. We'll show you a clip and we'll talk some more about it. Still ahead on live. Emma Watson, you see in the new Harry Potter movie, which is a tremendous sensation, going to make a big impact on your life. You want to continue your acting career, of course, right? Mm -hmm. Sure. How will this change you? Do you think that you'll, um, you know, will you leave school? Will you, you know, what, what's your big plan for yourself at 11? Um, uh, I think I want to carry on in school. I'm definitely not going to drop out. Good. I'm going to go to college. Good. Um, and you're going to become a, a lawyer? <laughs> no. No, I'm kidding. You know, shoving around paper on a desk isn't really my thing. No. <laughs> um, She's my kind of girl. Yeah. <laughs> well, go to school and get that college education and, uh, and see what happens. Exactly. I'm... Sure. Absolutely. You know, I love the way you speak. I, I, whenever we have a guest from England on the show, I get very excited. <laughs> and, and all of a sudden, my own British accent seeps out. <laughs> Hello, Emma. How are you? Don't I sound like Cary Grant? No. Do you know? 
Do you know who Cary Grant is? No. No, I didn't think so. There you go. All right. In this particular scene, oh, incidentally, somebody told me yes. that you have a big crush on Prince William. Uh. No? A <laughs> little bit of a crush. He's so... A little bit. He's, uh. What a... What a Stud I, puppy he I is, bet, huh? I bet he has a crush on Emma after seeing this Yeah, there this you movie. go. Sure, Emma. She's he, a superstar in yeah, this. Yeah, he's a dude, but you're a beauty. You know what I'm saying? Yes. <laughs> he's not really a dude. Brad Pitt's a dude, but William is pretty. Brad Pitt's a dude. Yeah, you're right. Well, now that you're so observant about men, <clears throat> check it out. <laughs> check it out, Emma. Take a good long look and tell me where do I stand? <laughs> Yes, she told me. All right, let's go to the clip, Gilman. Here it is. Here's Amber playing Hermione, levitating a feather. Yeah, she can do that. Take a look. Wingardium Leviosa. Stop, stop, stop. You're going to take someone's eye out. Besides, you're saying it wrong. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. You do it, then, if you're so clever. Go on, go on. Guardian Leviosa. Guardian Leviosa. See here, everyone. This grade has done it. <laughs> Splendid. Wingard Leviosa. Well done, dear. I think we're going to need another feather over here, Professor. <laughs> and the Sorcerer's Stone, yeah. Wow. One of the big hits of the holiday season. Emma, thanks very much for coming by. Nice to have you here. We'll be back in a moment. Tomorrow.